Hey everyone, welcome to devlog number 6. Um, I haven't uploaded in a month and a half and I know that because I was sick, I had school, and a bunch of other factors, but yeah, that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm here to show you all my game and it's on its 6th devlog or update number 3. Well, I know, that doesn't really make sense, but it does in my head. Um, so, a couple things have changed in this uh, update or devlog. First of all, I've opted into using Tiled instead of making my own Tile Editor simply because it would take too long for me to create my own and this was already made nice, user-friendly and it was just less of a hassle. So I'm using Tiled for my house editing, a couple houses here I've made. And yeah, let me quickly explain how the system works. So you draw your map in something like a sprite or paint.net, which I don't recommend a sprite is just better for pixel art. Uh, you will draw your map here. Then you will go to tiled, make your house, go to pie charm and then load in the image you drew earlier. And each color has a corresponding tile to it. So if I were to do this green, it would do a light grass uh, or this would be dark grass and this would be road. Um, and once that's loaded in, you would load in your house, um, which is pretty cool as well because I've added an offset and a size. Now you can offset the house by a couple tiles because previously, the previous system, you could only place it in like a grid fashioned way. For example, I could only place it at 0, 0 or 0, 1, but now you can place it in between 0, 0 and 0, 1 because of the offset. Which is great, I'll show you in a second. Another thing I've added is, or reworked, is the collisions. I've completely reworked them. Um, because previously, you I would take the player position and round it to a index for the tile map. And check if any index close to the index are ti uh, wall tiles, if that makes any sense. But the new system allows for thin walls and different shapes of tiles. Which is great, amazing for me. Um, what else? I've also added transparent walls, which basically means that if you get too close or if you're inside a house, you're going to be able to see the outside, which is what is going on right here, right now. I know it isn't much to show for, but I'm I'm working on this, and it takes time to develop a game. So yeah, as you can see, the collisions are doing pretty well, and since this isn't a full block, it's going pretty well as well. So I can see what's going on when I'm inside the house when I go here it works as well so yeah that's it for devlog number six I thought it would be nice to show you guys uh, currently I'm working on a bunch of things such as player reworking the player animations because these were temporary and just working generally no, nothing specific however there is something very big that I'm working on which is the inventory from last time that has been on put on pause um, but it will see a comeback later. Anyways, see you guys. Bye.